It is time for week three of Let Carm Cook. Guys, two and one last week. We had three games, all dogs. Uh, two of them came in. The Denver Broncos did not. This week, we've got a bit of a mix on the card. A couple dogs, three favorites, some games that you're going to have to hold your nose. But before I get there, guys, do me a favor. You see it in all my videos. Please hit that subscribe button. 171,000 subscribers and growing each and every day. Hit the like button while you're at it and the notification button, and you'll be alerted to any free play videos or shows going live with actionable info across our Wager Talk platform. So let's get right to it. The LA Chargers, Pittsburgh Steelers. This line currently is set at Pittsburgh minus one and a half. And this line is where it is with these two no teams because of the status of Chargers uh, QB Herbert. He was on the field today, heavily taped ankle. I'm not really worried about it. I like the Chargers in this spot. Uh, they beat up on Carolina. They stayed on the East Coast, stayed in Charlotte. Uh, so no traveling back and forth. And the big factor here, guys, is Dobbins. The guy is leading the NFL in rushing, 9.9 .9 yards per carry. And as a Raven, he faced the Steelers team three times, 320 yards rushing. He is going to be the game changer on Sunday. We're taking the Chargers plus one and a half in this one. We're going to move to the West Coast for the next one, Detroit and Arizona. The look ahead line on this one was four and a half. It's down to three and three on Detroit is what I want to play. I get it. The Arizona Cardinals look good. 69 points over two games, losing to Buffalo and then beating up on the Rams. Let's not forget that was the Rams team missing their top two receivers. Detroit is coming with all of their tools in place, all of their weapons. And yes, they did lose at home to Tampa Bay. But let's not forget 463 to 216. That was the edge that they had in total offense. They just could not score. They will do it here against this Arizona team. 5-0 last year off a loss, this Detroit team, winning by an average of 13.2 points. Never lost two games in a row last season. They aren't going to do it this week. Detroit, minus three. All right, let's move to San Fran. Now, listen, if you're a MASH uh, fan, if you ever watch that series, this is the MASH unit game. There are a ton of guys missing for San Fran. Listen, I get it. I know what they're missing. The Rams are in the same boat. The difference here is the defense. If San Fran can put up 17 points, they will cover this seven points. At seven, I'm going to take it. I, Rams are going to find a hard time to score against this Niners defense. Uh, give me San Fran in this one, even with the injuries for both teams. I will lay the seven points. All right, we are off to the Sunday night uh, matchup. How are these teams do on Sunday nights? KC and Atlanta. Chiefs, Sunday nights, 4-11 and 11 against the spread the last 15 games. Uh, they really don't show up, but they show up for Super Bowls and win them, apparently. Atlanta at home, their last seven Sunday nights, 7-2 and two straight up against the spread at home. No Pacheco for KC. That's why this line has dropped. Atlanta off a big win, short week of rest, yes. But I'm going to take the three and a half points here with the Falcons. And we're going to finish it off with a game I believe is going to be the blowout game of the week. And that is on Monday night. Cincinnati lane seven and a half. Washington had a tough time against the Giants. Um, they won that game on seven field goals. Giants, obviously, the most important play of the game was the injury at the beginning of the game to their kicker. Three touchdowns, no extra points. They win for two each and every time. They bypassed going for a game-winning field goal in order to try and score late. It backfired on them. Um, Malik Neighbors gave Washington fits. What do you think Jamar Chase is going to do this week and now that T. Higgins is practicing and could play as well too? This is Cincinnati all day long, all night long. Give me Cincy minus seven and a half as your blowout game of the week. Guys, there you have it. Five plays. Chargers plus one and a half. Detroit minus three. San Fran minus seven. Atlanta plus three and a half. Cincy minus seven and a half. We had a great week last week. Uh, plus 8.98 units in the NFL. Going back to the beginning of the 2022 season in NFL, the last two years, combined number one at Wager Talk in the NFL in total profits. Carmine Bianco. That's right. I've got a 5% play loaded up for this weekend. Get it over at Wager Talk. And you can use the code NFL50 to get $50 off my full season of NFL. For myself and the Wager Talk family, 
Good luck with your wagers, guys, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.